this, we all know each other. We sit across from each other to go at, at, at the kids' plays. You know, the basketball game, football game, we met. You know, so I'm not going to get that. I always worry more about out of towners coming in or coming in scared like that. I'm not all worried. Yes, she can tell you um, at all about our local citizens here in Force County. Because uh, we're going to show the world how you do it right. And uh, Ms. Jasmine came to me the other day, and uh, I want to give her props. She did a very well job, uh, very well done job in planning this house. The main thing that I wanted to say was please drink your water, guys. <laughs> drink your water. Ennis had um, there today, and several people passed out. It's hot, the heat index is up there, and I want to make sure that everybody is safe. If you feel like you're about to pass out or whatever, just you know, give us a signal, okay? We'll, we'll, we'll get you the help. Uh, drink plenty of water. Um, you know, we have officers that are trained over there, Norris over there. We'll have a couple uh, more. You see me, I try to station myself right over here. I'm probably the guy that's talking about everybody because I know everybody. Um, and uh, so if you need any help, just grab me, okay? And, uh, and so I'll just turn this back up to Jack. First, I just want to start. When I say black lives, can y'all please say matter after? Black lives! Yeah.
secondly, I want to talk to my generation. My generation. We got to stay out of trouble. That's it. We got to stay out of trouble because when you get in trouble, you cannot become a police officer. You cannot become a correctional officer. You cannot become a lawyer. We got to stay out of trouble. That's the whole point. They don't want us in that. We need to get in there. That's, that's the change. I know a lot of y'all say respect and caring, trying to, it, that's the change. Getting us into the justice system. Because we understand, we know what it's like to be pulled over and feared and scared. We know what it's like. So that's, that's what we need to do. And then my second point, vote. You cannot sit behind your phone, talk, post, all this, and not go vote. You cannot do that. You gotta go vote. Yeah. And if you, yeah. and if you are not old enough to vote, wait and register to vote. If you're not registered to vote, go register to vote. We need to vote. Uh, and with voting, also getting involved. Uh, we gotta get involved. We gotta talk to the, I know a lot of us don't really wanna, you know, talk to the police officer. We try to, you know, shy from it. But we gotta get involved. We gotta be heard. We gotta speak up. Our, our grandparents been through this. Our great grandparents, our great great grandparents. A change, something gotta, something gotta give. And yes, they did their best, but something gotta give. And that's another point. There was a lot of older generation that, that supported me, helped me, you know, called me every day, make sure everything was good if I needed something. But there was another half that was that didn't didn't support, did not want it to happen at all. Because one even said, well, it didn't happen in Quincy County. It didn't have to happen in Quincy County. George Floyd, Floyd Killing did not have to happen in Quincy County. It didn't happen in Dallas. It didn't happen in Houston. It did not have to have to happen in Quincy County for us to speak up. All right. Okay. Unity. That's what that is. Um, next, I want to talk to my non-African American people. Speak up. I know a lot of y'all know people who are racist, who do say little comments behind closed doors. But you gotta speak up. When Please. the doors are closed, you gotta Please speak up then. Please. Because they're gonna think it's okay. And of course, if we have them there around you, you're gonna think you think it's okay. And that that and that while a lot of people say cops, they don't put bad in front of us. Because a lot of the good ones don't speak up when the bad cops. It was four cops. George Floyd, it was four cops. Nobody, just standing there. Nobody, yeah. nobody spoke up. And that's why they all got charged. And I see a lot of y'all standing with us, and I really, I really appreciate it. And that's another thing, y'all gotta stand with us too. They don't, they only, they only listen to us now because of the riots. Stuff is being burnt down. Stuff is be being looted. That's why they're listening now. But if y'all stand with us, they will listen. They will listen because they will have to. And lastly, I just want to say, hands up! Don't, don't shoot. shoot! Hands up! Don't shoot! Hands up! Don't shoot! Hands up! Don't shoot! Hands up. Don't shoot. No, justice. no peace! No justice! No peace! No justice.
been living in the same America as I have been. It's bigger than this, y'all. And for Jasmine, it has been a hell of a week. She has fought so many people for this to happen. This should not have been that hard for us to pull together, for us to be here for each other. This should not have been that hard, y'all. Y'all don't understand. A lot of backlash, a lot of negative, a lot of negative things have been said about her, about me, about people, about this. Haters. Y'all, we have got to change something. If you don't think you can change something, you think you're wrong. You can change things. You can't, little people. You can change things. We can change things. I attend Prairie View a and University in Prairie View, Texas, y'all. That is my school. We make changes down there. We do things because we can come together. We are not scared. You cannot be scared if you want to make change. Time out for this time out. Time out for this. We have got to come together. We have got to stand up. See something, say something for real. Yeah. I don't care what color you are. You can be red, purple, orange. You see something wrong. You speak up about it. You do something about it. Amen. There's too many closed mouths, y'all. We have got to come together. We have got to unite. We have got to say black lives matter because they do. Amen. They do matter. We matter. You matter. Hands up, don't shoot, and that's the truth. We walk around. We do nothing. Trayvon Martin couldn't go get a pack of Skittles and walk back home safely to his mama. My goodness, y'all, we got to wake up. We got to see what's wrong with the community, with the world, with America. We got to say something. We got to do things like this. Things that people don't want to do, we got to do it. And we got to do it proudly. We got to do it with a smile on our face. And we got to get it done. Without that, there's not be no change. People are going to continue dying at the hands of the police who do not care. The police, they feel like it's okay to put a knee on the guy's neck in the middle of the street. They would not do a dog like that. They would not do a dang on dog like that. That is a man. A man. A, a man, y'all. A black man in America who knows. He knew what it was like. He lived in Houston, Texas. My goodness, he grew up there. He knew. He knows what it's like. If y'all know Houston police, then y'all know that's the truth. He knows what it's like. He got his life taken in the street. Over twenty dollars that wasn't even fake. Y'all gotta wake up. Y'all better wake up fast. It is happening. People say, oh, it didn't happen here in Corsicana, so why are we coming together? It happened here before. And not just one time. Yes, it was too many. Too many. We have got to wake up. We have got to see the big picture. It is not about you. That's right. It's not about you. It's bigger than that. It is bigger than that. It's about everybody being able to live in a world where you can walk to the store and get some Skittles yep. and make it back home to your mama in one piece yep. and safely. There is no excuse for that. I don't care. I do not care. There is no excuse for that. As a community, we have to do bigger and better things, y'all. It is everywhere. Racism is everywhere in this town. We have faced it. I don't know about you. I have. I've been pulled over before. But as I look suspicious, coming home from a softball game, pulling in my driveway, I look suspicious. In high school, y'all, it happens all the time. Yep. It happens all the time. You hear things all the time. I hear you, girl. I hear you. Attending school here? 
out here going to school, seeing how everybody else lives. You're like, whoa, where did I come from? Where are we coming from? Y'all think there ain't nothing wrong with this town? Thank <laughs> you. 